Hey guys, so it's still kind of early, early afternoon-ish. Um, I didn't get all my filming done yesterday. I got one video filmed. So I'm going to try and get it all done today. Uh, sorry if I'm still like kind of half asleep. It's just one of those kind of days. So today I am bringing you guys a thrift store haul. So I know a lot of you like to see this. This is actually one of the videos that I get the most views on so I know that people really like watching the thrift store hauls the best and I have not been thrifting in a while so I probably should start doing that again but yeah I have a big thrift store haul here for you it's not as big as normal but it's still pretty big so we'll just get right into it uh, first up I have a princess cadence uh, pony and this is the wedding one. She is missing a few of her parts but that's okay. I mean she still works and um, yeah I mean she's missing her dress and everything but that's okay. I mean I don't mind. Her hair is a little crazy. I'll have to fix that. Okay. And then in this little bag oh, I have a little Fluttershy in here I got her for 50 cents she's really cute I don't know why my screen looks kind of yellowed yellowed today I don't know I tried to fix it sorry <laughs> but yeah she is really cute I loved this little Fluttershy here so I picked her up for 50 cents and I also have this Indiana Jones Hallmark ornament. This was $4.99 at one of my thrift stores. And I was debating on whether or not to get it. Um, I don't have too many ornaments, but this is what it looks like here. And then when you push the button. So I thought this was really cool still worked in everything. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll just set that right there as it plays. <laughs> and then, what else do I have in this one? My receipts. But I found this purse here. I thought it was really adorable and it was pretty clean. I don't really know anything about it. Um, Never really heard of the brand. It just says MC, made in China. So, here, let's see if the other receipt tells me how much I paid for this. Um, this was two ninety nine for the purse. See, so, yeah, I got this cute pink purse because I'm a purse fan. If you watch my other channel, um, I did do a vlog and it kind of showed into my closet a little bit and how many purses I have. I don't know if that will be up by the time this goes up, but it will be up eventually, so you can always check out that on my other channel. I'll leave that link in the description below. So, And then for a freebie when I bought the ornament and the purse, I found this in the freebie bin, and it's a Hello Kitty TY plush. And yeah, just by looking at it, it's like, why, why, would you, why wouldn't you get this? And why was she in a freebie bin? I mean, come on. So... It just says inside the tag, Hello Kitty, and it says, I love Japan, right here. So, yeah. New plush added to the collection. <laughs> uh, also in here, I don't, oh, this is actually from, I got this bag from a friend of my mom's. He was giving away a lot of stuff. He's an antique dealer. And I went through his stuff. And I'm not exactly 100% sure if I filmed all of it that I got. Because I know that this isn't all of it. I might have put that stuff away just I didn't bother to film it. And the stuff I did keep for filming. But it was a mixture of Christmas stuff. Some books. I found another one of the twin books that I collect. Uh, but eventually you guys would see those in a collection haul anyways, so. But in here there's a Three Little Pigs book. This is a little older. It, it looks old. It feels old. So, 
Yes, I got this one. And then I also have in here a couple plushies. This was, These were a dollar. I have to replace the batteries and see if this one works. I don't know exactly what it does right now. So this is one of the plushies I got. Um, I found there in, I don't know what bin this was. Maybe this was the freebie bin for him because he had a lot of freebie stuff too. But uh, here's a little Rudolph key ring. And this is probably from McDonald's. That's where I think I got a lot of mine from. It doesn't say. Nope, it doesn't say. So it's just a Rudolph King hanger thing. I keep all my hangers over there on my manga shelf. So that will be added there. And then I found this cute little Christmas mouse. He was also a dollar. He's got his little Christmas tree scarf on. He's so cute. That is it for that bag. Um, here's, these are a couple things that I forgot that I purchased in like a haul a long time ago or a thrift store haul but uh, this one is one I found at a thrift store this was one dollar and it's been sitting around for like two different hauls and I keep forgetting to film it but uh, this is a bell necklace right here and the shelf it, you mean from a far away distance you wouldn't have known this was bell unless you were looking really close but yeah I got this and then also at a thrift store, I don't remember, it's been so long, it's not a thrift store, it's an antique store. Uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of thrift stores around me, plus like antique places, so I consider that in a thrift store because they're all secondhand stuff. But I found some more of these McDonald's toys. These came out for the 100 Years of Magic Celebration. And they're, these came out of McDonald's. And there's actually a hundred of these to collect. Um, I think it was like 2000 these came out, maybe. Or, yeah. Or was it 98? I don't think it was 98. Nope, it wasn't 98 because they all have different years. Uh, this is just 98 because this is when The Bug's Life came out. I already have one. I have a Bernard from The Rescuers. He, I mean, when I found him, they had a few different ones, but they were all different priced. And Bernard was, like, the most reasonable one, and I really wanted him. So, um, that's the only one I got. But I try to keep an eye out for these to get some other ones. But then I have Miko, which is the little raccoon pet from Pocahontas. Then we have Jafar. Obviously, he's from Aladdin. Then we have Milo from Atlantis. This is one of my favorite movies. I love this movie. And then we also have... Is it Brie Bear? Brie Bear? I don't know. This is from an older Disney movie. I can't say that I have seen this one. So... Here is him. And some of these are scuffed up. I mean, you don't know what they've been through. I mean, these were McDonald's toys, but they were really flopping cool. I mean, I wish that... I mean, I believe it was like 2000 or 2002, it says here. So in 2002, I was 12 years old. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure we did probably get some of these because we probably ate a McDonald's between the, like the three months or something these came out. Uh, but my mom has them. I don't know which ones we would have had, even if they're even around anymore. I mean, I'm sure they're around, but who knows where they are. <laughs> but yeah, so those are the ones that I got for that. I love those. I want to collect them all. I will not resort to eBay for these because that is something that will just, you'll end up paying way too much money for them. I, that's just something that I probably will just go around collecting to different antique stores, stuff stores, and see what I can find when I can find them. So, I mean, it's okay with me. I'm very patient with collecting. It's, I mean, collecting does take a lot of patience because you need to make sure if you don't have a huge budget, you need to find that good deal and just, you got to constantly search. So, um, yeah, I do a lot of thrifting, which I'm very sad that I haven't gone in a while, but 
what can you do when you're super busy? So thrifting does take a lot of time, especially when you're doing an all day thing, going to different stores and they most likely close at five o'clock. So you got a seven hour gap to get all of it done. Okay. Where is this one from? I don't know where this one's from. Oh, this is from my uh, thrift center. And I believe that I shopped for all this stuff on half off day. But we have a little Eeyore here with a detachable tail. <laughs> and he was originally $4, but I believe I got him on half off day. I usually only go in there kind of on half off days to buy plushies. So he's a cute little Eeyore. What is this? Oh, it's a purse I bought, apparently. Now this was probably a dollar or two dollars. I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember. But there's just this pink little hobo bag. It's just got little star studs in here. So yeah, like I said, I'm obsessed with purses. Yeah. <laughs> just a little bag. For those days, you don't want to wear a long shoulder bag. My dog is barking outside the door. He would be in here if I didn't lock him out. But here is a Barbie, My Favorite Stories. And this is really cool because it's actually like Barbies posed. And these are like the older Barbies that like I grew up on. So yeah, I got this one. And then I also have this Epic Mickey 2. Uh, game guide, which was 25 cents on half off day. Yes, I think. I think that's the thrift store I got it at, was the half off one. Yeah, I did. I was thinking that I had the guide through for Epic Mickey 1 instead of Epic Mickey 2. I have had Epic Mickey 2 since it was brand new and came out, and now it's like super cheap, and <laughs> I still haven't played it. But, um,. Turbo got me a special collector's edition, like the hardcover one, and I thought it was for the first one, but apparently it was for the second one. So now I have two, but I can keep my nice collector's one still wrapped and sealed, and I can just use this one now. So it was a win-win either way. And then here I have another book. This is The Random House Book of Fairy Tales, and this was 50 cents. If it was half off day, it would have been 25, and I'm pretty sure it was half off day. But it's been a while. It's been sitting. It's been sitting here since at least like right after the wedding or something since I bought these things, which was quite a while quite a while ago already. Then there's the Great Fairy Tale Classics Volume One, and this is kind of falling apart a little bit here. And I do want to start getting some um, DIYs for you guys. Of um, let's see how it's falling apart. Uh, how I do like some craft things with um, these like if you're big on drawing these are really cool for cartooning you just insert other pages on here and it will work just like a regular hardcover uh, any kind of hardcover drawing book blank drawing book you can either put lined paper in here you can put blank paper in here whatever you would like and then you glue them back together and you put them in these cool little storybooks it's a really cool thing. I really want to show you guys. I just have to get time to do it because um, if you guys haven't heard it in like a other video that I've rambled on about, I am doing an addition on my house upstairs. So there's a lot of my time is considered or is there right now. So I'm sorry. I'm YouTube is a priority to me. Like it just it gets a little frustrating and it gets hard sometimes and I feel really bad when I don't upload up regularly and I I hope someday that I'll be able to regulate videos for you guys but anyways to continue I found this photo album book which I thought was really pretty you insert all these little photos in here and this was a dollar fifty I found this one which was <laughs> it's one of the cardboard cardboard type books. This is another photo album, which I was so excited about finding this. I don't remember how much this one is. The tag must have fallen off, but here it is. This is a Bambi with thumper, Bambi and thump, thumper on the front, and it's a little photo photo album here. It was blank. It's never been used. It's really cute. 
Um, I don't remember where this was from. It just says Disney Babies Bambi Collection, the Walt Disney Company. So if you guys know anything further, further about that, let me know. And then the other thing that came with it was this, which is in a box, and I'll have to get it out for you. Well, it wasn't with it, but it was in the same area. They actually sold these separately, and then there was this one, which is the um, baby Disney cartoons, and this was a dollar. And then it's, it's older because it's got the older kind of binding, and you just put photos in here. I don't think this is a normal 5x8 that fits in here, but there was this one. And then also with this, there was the giant one. So it's really exciting. So in here, this is the ones where you peel the pages apart and then you stick them in here. So this will be nice for someday in the future, way in the future, that when we have our first baby, this will be their baby book. So you can find lots of things at the thrift store. Just prepare for your future. It's like way in the future, like five years, but I want to enjoy my married life as a single woman. Well, not single technically, but a single married puppy couple. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I get for future baby photo albums. Okay, what else? I'm taking a lot of time on this. But here's a Hello Kitty binder. I actually have folders like this. I got this for 25 cents. And you never could have enough binders, especially when you collect cards, trading cards, which I do. I got this very nice decorative clipboard, which will come in handy when I need it for lots of reasons. So, yes, that was 25 cents. It won't stay up there. We'll just put it right there. <laughs> then here we have artwork, which is, it's a funky thing like you set it up some awkward way here and then okay. give me a second I'll get this open. okay so here you set it up and then you also have all of these where it learns how to cartoon draw somebody already like colored in here but they've got all these different little drawings you learn how to draw cartoons color them in Lots of different things in this book. Wow, it's really hard for you guys to see. I didn't realize it was that hard, but yeah. You color things in, learns how to do um, cartooning and comicking. Really cool thing. This was 25 cents at the thrift store. So that was cool. I found this one, which is one of those Disney storybooks collection that has all little mini stories in them. I found a lot of Berenstein Bears books. I'm just going to go through them real quick here for you. If I can. Well, maybe I'll just do it this way. So we got this one. This one. all the Berenstein Bears books I found. I love Berenstein Bears growing up. This is a Raggedy Ann and Andy. The Good Girl's Guides to Crochet. Guess I'm not the greatest crocheter. So, um, what is this one? Oh, this one's just a little journal. A little journal. Nothing big. I found a golden book of the Roadrunner. This I was excited about finding. This is really cool. Um, and then this one, I found a photo album. This might have been from like Disney World. I would have to assume. I think it is. It's like um an old photo book that you could get when you do the character when you see the characters. I believe that that's what that is. We're almost done, guys. 
Um, here I found some Little Bear books, or one Little Bear and another Raggedy Ann and Andy. And then this was really cool. This is just a notebook, but somebody had decorated it. All really cool. So yeah, it's just a plain notebook, but it's just got all the designs here, and it's just really cute. This one actually string fell off, so it's like you have to re-glue it on. But yeah, I got that. And then we just have one more bag left, and it's just a couple items. Okay, I found a wood stock. I have already cleaned these plushies, and they are ready to go on my shelf. They're smelling nice and clean now. So, um, if you guys ever want a tutorial on how I wash my plushies, but they smell so good now. And they're all germ-free. So, <laughs> yes, I have a wood stock. Then I have got a pongo. A really big pongo here. So yeah, I got that one. And then I have, I don't know which one this one is. This one, let's see if it says here. Um, nope, it doesn't say on here, but yay. And then this was, okay, this is a bag I've had in my hauls before. But um, Steven's brother, my brother-in-law, watched our house while we were gone. And I had this downstairs to clean. And um, it was all cleaned. It was just sitting on top of my dryer air drying. And it kind of got really faded after I tried to soak the crap out of this. But if you see this right here, this was ink. He, I don't know what he did or exploded an ink pen, but it was everywhere. It got over some of my plushes. I ended up getting that out of my plushies. But here, it was just pure black ink. And it was terrible. And... So it's like the American Girl doll bag that I had found thrifting is now not in the greatest shape because while I was gone, he decided to do some laundry and he still has not mentioned this. And it's like, how do you just not notice that you spilt or exploded an ink pen all over my stuff? So I was really upset about that. I hope he watches this and knows. Knows the anger that I felt. But there's nothing I can do about it, so I tried to clean it the best I could, and now it just looks like a brown stain. So, yeah. But yeah, this is one that I was really super excited about. This is the Sugar Bunnies, uh, the same company that makes Hello Kitty. So, yes. He was a really cute little plushie that I found. He doesn't have his original tags, but that's okay. His tag back here is um, still intact, which is fine with me. So, yeah. Otherwise, that is everything that I got in this store haul. I took a little bit more time in talking through everything. Sorry about that. Uh, but as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you need any information, I usually leave it in the description box. Normally it's like everything is categorized, what I got, what it is, in the description. The only thing I don't put in there is like prices, because, I don't know, it's kind of irrelevant, I think. Because it's thrifting and... It's thrifting. <laughs> and I kind of mention prices when I'm doing it. But yeah, my link to my Facebook page, I try to post on there if I'm kind of absent for something. Some particular reason, or if I'm working on a project, I kind of like to post you guys up on that. Uh, also the link to my other channel will be in the description. I will put a link to my thrift store haul playlist and I will add this one to that. And I think that's it. Oh yeah, and my P.O. box would be in the description box as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!